Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the USPA Polo Network. My name is Toby Wayman, and I'm live here at the USPA Polo Network studios in Wellington, Florida, and we are getting ready for the second semifinal of the first ever Carlos Gracita Cup. Today, we are going to have La Indiana going up against Pilot. La Indiana is going to be lining up with Michael Bickford with a two-goal rating. Victorino Ruiz rated at five goals in the number three slot. I believe we're going to have Facundo Obregón rated at six goals and bringing up the rear. Playing the number four position is one of America's highest rated players, Jeff Hall, at seven goals. Then Pilot will be lining up with Curtis Pilot in the number one position with an A rating. Then Matt Coppola, I believe, is going to be playing in the number two slot with a four-goal rating. Then Gonzalito Pérez will be playing in number three, uh, nine-goal rating here, ten in the, in the Argentina. And then Lucas James, uh, seven-goal rating. I believe he's an English player uh, coming in in the number four position. Right now, let's go ahead and check in field side with our field side correspondent, Dale Schwetz, and see what he has to say about the game. All right, welcome. We're live from the International Polo Club Palm Beach after uh, at the Everglades Field this morning. Now we're over at field number five, and I think the wind's picked up a little bit more, so it's going to have it's definitely going to have uh, some problems here when you're running different ways. Here we were watching the players take penalty shots, and they're almost Jeff Hall for the Indiana team, and he actually shot a few balls like a regular shot down the center and they were blowing out. So he actually adjusted his swing and started aiming towards the uh, the post that's closest to the wind and they was bringing it right in. Well, we know La Indiana, of course, Michael Bickford, he'll play the number one position. And uh, this is the same La Indiana team that we've seen all year long here on the USP Pole Network. He's gonna play the number one and he's a, this is a team that rotates a lot. Of course, the man in the orange helmet you got him, Toro Ruiz, five goals. He'll play the number two position. He's going to be backed up by the man in the red helmet, Facundo Obregón. And then, of course, the man in the green helmet will captain the field with Jeff Hall. Now, you're going to see a complete rotation with these four players. They're going to play all different positions, and whatever they need to do to get it done, they'll mix up the penalty shots. Jeff Hall has been very, very consistent on the penalty shots. And I got to talk with Jeff before the game. He said that the team feels good, the horses feel good. They had the shortest trip as they uh, played in the cross bracket. They won bracket two, two and oh, and they had SD Farms underneath them. And so they uh, they set themselves up very good. Now, Pilot, on the other hand, Curtis Pilot played number one. You know, he'll stay out front or he'll stay in the back. Not much rotation in the middle with Curtis. His first year playing high go pole. Doing a good job, though, playing in the front of the game or in the back. And then a little change up. As I uh, remember, they did play with Facundo Pérez and Timmy Duda during the season, but now they switched that team up. And they have Matt Capola on four goals. Matt, mounted, probably the strongest mounted four-goal player in the uh, in Palm Beach this year. As we've seen him play a lot of games, he played a lot of 12-goal polo. And uh, he is mounted to the tees, man. This kid's got it, and he's ready to go to the next level. So you got to get a big game out of Matt at uh, the number two position. Of course, Gondolito Pérez will go from number four to number three, and perfect for him. As you put Lucas Jane behind him, Lucas is a very smooth, open-running player, seven-goal player, plays a lot of high-goal polo, plays in England, plays uh, in Argentina. So uh, I haven't seen Lucas play in a long time. And also to see Matt and uh, Curtis, Gonza, and Lucas play together. So we'll see if they can pull together. Now, they had a long trip to get here. They, uh, they were second place in bracket three. That was the bracket that they played within the bracket. Coca-Cola went first. Congratulations, Coca-Cola, making it to the semifinals today, beating Prestige Worldwide. Now, Pilot, they, had, they came in second in their bracket. So we had that shootout in bracket one between Prestige and Goose Creek to go to the semis. Goose Creek lost the shootout. That put them second place in bracket one. So to get that fourth position, it took the second place team, uh, actually in the, in the four teams in bracket one and two, they put them one through four. They came in third place in Goose Creek after the shootout, and Pilot was second place in bracket three. So that's how you get them to come together in another shootout. Pilot won that shootout, and here they are playing against La Indiana on field number five, International Polo Club, Palm Beach. They, uh, players still getting organized here. Looks like they uh, switched up a few jerseys. Pilot will be in the maroon jerseys today. La Indiana gonna be in the white jerseys. 
and uh, both teams are still getting uh, mounted up here. They're waiting for the umpires to come on. Like you said, these days, man, with the blustery days, now sometimes the wind blows from north to south here in the winter time in southern Florida, and that can be pretty tough running into the wind. This is going to be a cross breeze all day long. It's going to come from the east, from the beach. It's going to blow the west. And uh, field number five runs north and south. So just adjusting a few shots and, and goal shots. But it's going to be interesting to see which team can get it together from the penalty line, especially the safeties, the penalty six, and the penalty fours. All for the 60-yard line. And any lofted ball today, I'm telling you, it is blowing hard enough where it'll blow these balls out of the goal mouth. Now the shorter penalty should be an issue. Everything's usually on the ground or hit pretty hard and uh, with the penalty two and the penalty three. So, and I'm looking to see both teams that have very constructive and positive polo plays when it comes to the penalty fives and the knock-ins. We talk about it all season long, about getting positive possessions. And not today, that I don't think that you're going to have to worry as much about the, the penalty shots, making the penalties, but actually having possession plays, doing good knock-ins, getting plays that get you on the positive side of the goal. And then also those penalty fives from center or anywhere else around the field, the team's got to get organized on those to make sure that they do the right thing. All right, looks like we're going to get both players out here. we got the umpires out here getting them organized here for our first chucker play. Semi-final number two, who will go to the finals of the Carlos Casita against Coca-Cola for the finals? I'm Dale Schwetz. Back to you, Toby. All right, so here we go. we got our players out on the field getting ready to get this game underway. The second semifinal to see who's going to go up against Coca-Cola in the first ever Carlos Gracita Cup. We spoke about it in the first game this morning. If you happen to, if you if you missed that uh, that game, uh, Carlos Gracita, one of the greatest players ever to to play the game of polo. He was the brother, the younger brother of uh, Memo Gracita, and the father of Carlitos uh, Gracita and Mariano Gracita. Um, he's won everything. He won everything there, there there is to win on every continent that they play polo, several times over. His record speaks for himself. He's one of the greatest players to ever walk the face of the earth. And uh, polo, it was a dark day for for the world of polo uh, when he passed. So I think it's fantastic that that IPC and the USPA have decided to put this tournament together in his memory and in his honor. And I know that um, both these teams would love. To, to win a berth in the, in the finals here so they could have a chance to put their name on the trophy before anyone else. So I guarantee you, I think we're going to see a pretty hard-fought game here today. Both teams are going to be going for it. It should be fun. I'm happy to see uh, Matt Capola getting a break here to go to play in the high goal too and to get to play with Gonzalito Pietis. That's great. Should be a lot of fun. I haven't seen Lucas James play in years since probably when I was in Argentina years ago. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun to watch him go, too. So this should be a great game. I'm really excited about, uh, about the second semifinal. So our two mounted officials are going to be Hector Galindo, the Hall of Famer himself, and Hamish Bray, and our third man, the Trace Ombre, will be Ronnie Mays Hayes. Now, they are not going to be using replay here because they haven't used replay uh, at all for the, re for, the, for the first part of the tournament. So they will not, uh, they will not use it to be using it here today in the semis or the final. I, will, I don't know if they're going to use it in the finals or not, but they, you know, they're, they're not using it here in the semis. Okay, so looks like they're going to start throwing the ball in. The umpire uh, who's facing us will be throwing the ball at uh, center cam high. So they're going to be throwing in from east to west to start the game off. And La Indiana has won their choice of directions. Here we go. First ball of the day is underway. Back into the throw in here. Let's see who's going to come up with it. Matt Capola keeps it away. No, it's taken by Bickford. Bickford wins this first throw. And Bickford making his run. Coming around hot. He's looking good. Working the ball back to the left-hand side. Going to try to start working it back towards the middle now. Gonzalito comes in and picks up that loose ball. Gonzalito. Pires, eldest son of Gonzalo Pires. Uh-oh, miscommunication right there. Oh, no. 
And Victorino Ruiz is going to jump all over this broken play right here. Try to make him pay for it. He's a stick man. He gets there. Victorino. Buried ball. Ay, ay, ay. Gonzalito's not happy about this play right here. Lucas came around behind him and then broke for the pass. Never even checked. And Gonzalito flipped the ball back to him, thinking that he was going to be there to pick it up. Wasn't expecting him to go for the pass until he called for it. So the throw is going to be from the center to the boards, right here in the goal mouth. Ball's put it into play. It bounces off a horse and goes directly over the back line. So we're going to have our first knock of the day, and it'll go in favor of Pilot. All right, James. Brings the ball into play. Now he tattoos the ball over to the left-hand side. Look at Gonzalito. He's already got the head of steam built up. He's going to get away from Victorino out in front on the break. This is what you love to see. And there goes Jeff Hall on Gabiota, one of his best horses. Actually, it is probably his best horse here. He's going to play on the first and in the sixth. And it looks like this one's going to go wide over the back line. So a coast-to-coast -coast run right there for Pilot and Gonzalito, but unable to put the ball between the posts. So we're going to have another first knock in here. Actually, I believe uh, the... USPA has, do, has just done a feature article on Jeff Hall's horse Gaviota here. So go over to uspolo.org and uh, check it out because it's a great article. It gives you her, her uh, who she's, who she's uh, buying out of and everything. And James is going to try to keep this one in play. Does it get there? Not this time. So we're going to get another knock in here by La Indiana. So they got to do something, change something up here on their set plays because their first knock in didn't work. Let's see if they can get something going right now. All right, Jeffy brings the ball into play on Gaviota. Jeff winds up, hits it a little too straight here because it's going to be picked off. By, no, it's going to be picked up by Bickford. Well done, Bickford. But here goes Gonzalito. He makes the hook, makes the neutral play, leaves the ball, and now it'll be picked up and turned back around by Lucas James. James, look at Matt Capola holding out Victorino. Now he drops the hammer, and, Matt, and Matt's going to come back and take Victorino back the other direction. James cuts the ball. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. La Indiana cannot buy, or excuse me, uh, Pilot cannot buy a goal here. They're going to get their, so La Indiana is going to bring that, have their third knock in in a row here. So they definitely needed to change something up here and try to get something going on their set play. So Jeff is going to try something a little different here. Now he's going to go with the, the, the shot over to the left-hand side of the field where Gonzalito is going to muscle his way through the man, but Victorino is able to get the shot off. Can they get it past midfield this time? It doesn't look like it. May, uh, it's going to be Gonzalito with an open back shot to the center of the field looking for somebody. But here comes, uh-oh, that's going to cost him right there, the broken play, and James is going to try to make him pay for it right here. He brings that ball back around. Lucas James keeping it going here, reaches behind, can't get to the ball. Open back shot from Jeff Hall. Gaviota getting back around, and... James gets it done right there. And the umpires must not have thought uh, Jeff got around in time to catch Lucas here. Or excuse me, that's Matt Capola. Matt Capola gets in there quickly and draws first blood on the day. one nothing. here is the score. So well done, Matt Capola. Matt is the son of the voice of Polo himself, Tony Coppola. The ball's back into play, three against one here. Jeff Hall feeling a little lonely out there. Now here comes Facundo Obregón. Now, a shot down the field there. Coming in though, it's gonna be Obregón. He's gonna get to an open back shot there, looking for Jeff Hall. Jeff comes back to the ball. He's gonna avoid the hook from Coppola. Matt pumping, trying to get there, trying to put the pressure on Jeff. Jeff lets him come in, picks him up on the near side. Now, Victorino gets the ball, turns it back around. And this is part of the strategy that, uh, oh, well done. Going to, or excuse me, Lucas James gets there. Picked back up, though, by Facundo Obregón. He's going to run the ball back around, keeping it alive right here. Facundo working it down the field. There goes Victorino. Oh, Facundo tried to whip that ball to him on the left. Couldn't quite get to it, though. Now it's going to be James to turn it back around. And Coppola is going to take off to be a target here. James now forced to tap this ball because he's got Victorino behind him. Now he's going to flip it back to Gonzalito. Gonza, oh, well done. Nice play here by, well, maybe not. We get a whistle on the play. So Lucas forced to check down here. He sees he's got Gonzalito behind him there. Huh.
I'm not quite sure what the play is. The only thing I can think of is coming over the right of way after the shot, maybe, but I don't know. It, I guess. I thought Michael was good there, though, but maybe not. I guess he uh, good there. They, they're going to go ahead and say that. I guess that's the call. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe there's something else that I didn't see, but uh, penalty number four. Gonzalito hammers that ball, undefendable, and over the back line wide. So knock-in comes Chucker number one. First knock-in on the north end of the field, though. Shot there, a little shovel pass over to Victorino Ruiz. Ruiz catches the ball on the bounce and sends it back towards the middle. And look at this, Lucas James going to come in here. He's going to take Facundo wide and then pick the ball up on the near side. Try to keep it going here. He gets it done. Now he's taken off, making a beeline back straight to the north goal here again. Coppola's going to come in behind him. Lucas James keeps it going. Man, he's got a rocket ship here, but here goes Jeff Hall. Jeff got on a fresh horse now, and he's going to go ahead and hit the tail shot back over for Victorino once again. Victorino Ruiz, what a neck shot. The ball up on the fly. Bickford gets underneath that ball. It's got some hang time in the air. He's going to drop it down and hits the neck shot. Tries to. He got Facundo going to the goal. Couldn't quite get there, though, and it's going to be picked up here but once again by Gonzalito. Gonza turns the ball back around to the inside as Facundo tries to light him up. Now, Gonzalito forcing Facundo to get out of his way. And now he's going to take it to the left. Gonzalito making his run right here. I love to watch this guy break to the goal. He's out in front. He takes it on the bounce. Quick as lightning. Fires. Trying to keep it going here. But it's going to be picked up by Coppola. Matt Coppola trying to get the ball under control. Matt reaching back behind. He's got incredible... Whoa! Yeah. A little uneven there. So it looks like uh, Facundo just mistimed this bump a little bit here on, on uh, Matt. He was definitely looking to, he was definitely looking to frappe in there, but uh, a little off on the timing. So I tell you what, Pilot has jumped up here, and they are playing polo from the first throw in, and I think it kind of it's got they've got uh, La Indiana on their back foot, that's for sure right now. They're going to make this, they're going to move this one on into a number three here for Pilot. Forty yard shot on goal that can be defended should uh, La Indiana so choose. Oh man, that's a T right there. Gonzalito going to get another shot at the goal shot penalty here, the second of the day. Both have gone in favor of Pilot. Gonzalito's horse did not help him at all right there, man. So the ball goes over the back line wide, and that's another bullet dodged by La Indiana. You talk about the polo gods smiling on a team. They are getting some smiles right now, that's for sure. Here comes Facundo, or excuse me, Jeff Hall brings the ball into play, takes it over to the left-hand side. Now he's going to give it over there to Victorino. Victorino picks up the ball. He's their stick man. Now there goes Jeff taking Matt with him. Now Victorino's going to hammer this ball right down the middle past midfield here for, no, it's Gonzo to pick it off. He's going to be challenged now by Facundo. Coming back to it, it's picked up and moved back around by Bickford, Michael Bickford. Two-goal player moving the ball in. Now he's going to try to get away from Curtis. Curtis stays true there. Pilot takes it forward. Uh-oh. And over the back line wide. And now so we're going to have a safety here, I think. With just eight seconds to go until the warning horn. Jeff Hall will be given an opportunity here to get his team on the board before the end of the chucker. Oh, there's my dad in the background there. All right, so Jeffy and Facundo get this ball teed up. Penalty number six. 
So a safety occurs when the defending player is the last person to touch the ball before it goes over the back line of the goal line that he's defending. Wherever the ball crosses the back line, either the flag or the umpire mark the spot off the other umpire, then moves back parallel with where the ball went out of play and drops the ball, awarding a free shot from the 60 to the other team. Jeff tried to compensate a little bit there. I was forced to. His horse was running up to that ball sideways, so he didn't get any help either. And that's going to be about all she wrote for chucker number one. So we should start the second chucker off with a knock-in to be taken by Pilot after this quick commercial break right here on the USPA Polo Network. So what I love about the U.S. Polo Association is that it really is uh, one of the very few, if not the only brand that's actually tied back to the sport. All the graphics, patterns, and fabrics we choose are truly inspired by real events and polo clubs. The authenticity is really important. It's, it's what's really exciting because we're actually, we have something tangible to work with, something that is truly inspirational. We're able to come up with these great designs that are tied back to the sport. We are tied to the official U.S. Polo Association. And when the customer is in the store buying a polo shirt, a piece of denim, they're actually buying a piece of the sport in itself. We have over 90 countries that our brand is located in, as well as about 850 retail locations. So we're able to bring a piece of American polo at a global scale. See. Here we go. We are back. There's Matt Capola. And I have to say, hat is off to uh, Matt's dad, Tony Capola, for getting him very well mounted. I know that it's taken a lot of time and effort, but uh, it definitely shows off because Matt is a very talented young American player on his way up for sure. And I love the fact that he's getting a chance to play the high goal here this year and um, and showing off those those nice horses of his because I mean he's got some really impressive stock underneath him that I know Tony's worked very hard to put there and uh, so Tony's done his best to give his son every possibility he could and in my opinion he's done a great job he's done a great job by by Matt and uh, and it shows here there's Facundo Obregón he is uh I know that his father's tuned in watching right now, Mariano Sr. Big fan of the USPA Polo Network, never misses a game. Here we go, Lucas James brings the ball into play, which means we probably got some people tuned in from, from England, from Great Britain right now. Whoop, gets away from a little bit there, but whoa. So somebody's gonna be wrong here. We're gonna let the umpire sort out who that somebody is. Okay, so it looks like they're going to move this one down to a midfield, a penalty five from center for Pilot. Matt Capola getting that ball teed up for his teammates. So Lucas got a little, that ball got away from him a little bit there, but it turned out to be an advantageous play because they end up picking up a whistle here. Moving the ball 150 yards down to midfield mark, and now James brings the ball into play. James working it forward. Now looking to take advantage here. And James gets away from Bickford. Now another whistle on the play. So see James right there, he got, he got Bickford to look over his right shoulder, and as soon as he saw Bickford look over his right shoulder, he took it back to the left, and that's when you make those trans when the good players make those transition plays, when they get the, their defender to, to, to switch sides that they're looking at the ball, or looking at the play from. That's when they're gonna take it the other direction, because it takes time. It takes a fraction of a second to get your head swung back around and focused on what they're doing on the other side. So that's when they make their moves and they make it so happen so fast. It's incredible. Here goes Hall. He's going to take this one back the other direction. Now Hall hammers that shot back down the field, getting something done right here. His shot back up for Facundo. Facundo in the red zone. Can't get the shot off. Next person to get there is going to be James. Lucas takes it back 
to the inside. Now he's going to try to get back to the inside of Facundo. Facundo lights him up and Gonzalito comes in. Oh, yeah, what a play right here by Bickford. But he's unable to get the shot at goal off. So we'll get a knock and to be taken by Pilot here on the south end of the field. This is only Pilot's second knock into the day so far. Third knock in, I mean. Now, the whip shot back over to the left-hand side and Polito, or excuse me, Polito. Gozalito pulls away from the man. Now he's going to leave it there for Matt Capola. Capola gets back to that ball, trying to get Victorino out of there. Victorino's going to get caught to play on that ball. Let's see what happens here. So Matt, yeah, Matt put, waits for him to clear. Victorino does not clear. He goes for the ball, and so then we get the whistle. Center hit will go to Pilot once again. All right, so Lucas James will do the honor. Once again, I do believe now uh, Bickford's job right here is to make Lucas hit away, and now he's done his job. Lucas sends that ball right down the middle at the goal. It's off to the right, though, and Jeff will escort the ball over the back line and now bring it back into play on a knock-in on the north end of the field. So both teams are a little bit tight here. I think they're both still trying to, trying to figure each other out, trying to find each other out here a little bit. They'll get into their groove here. Oh, drags it forward one more time. And then he's going to find Victorino over on the right-hand side by himself. Victorino lets the ball come off the boards. And one time, man, look at that. He's a little guy, but he can absolutely crush the ball. He shows it right there, drops it down in front of Facundo Obregón. What a play right here. Obregón keeps, he goes back to uh, Gonzalito, and it's going to be picked up by Bickford, who finishes off the play. That is a power polo play made right there by La Indiana. And what a, this is an amazing play right here by Facundo. He comes in. He goes back over to Gonzalito. He lets Gonzalito bring him back to the ball. Gonzalito knows what he's doing. So the last few strides there, he pulls away from, from, uh, from Facundo. That way Facundo, uh, his horse kind of sucks back on him there a little bit. But he's able to, to, to try to knock it down. But Bickford's the next guy there to pick up the play. All right. Ball's back into play. Coming in, it's going to be taken now by Gonzalito. He's going to be challenged here by Bickford. Ball gets kicked by, forward by his horse. Bickford comes in, wins the ride off on Gonza. Gonza makes the hook, tries to get back to it. But look at Bickford, man. He's on fire. Just scored on the south end. Going to try to do it again here on the north. Bickford in the red zone. Bickford. Oh, yeah, yeah. Michael Bigford takes it away from a 10-goal player like it ain't no thing and then runs the ball on through and picks up the point right there. So I'm pretty sure the umpires played the advantage for Bigford on this one. As he breaks the tie, takes the lead, and makes the score 2-1 to one here with a Herculean effort of a play. Now, Pilot will have the offensive side of the throw. Let's see if they can do something here. Umpires put the ball back into play, and now it's going to be picked up by Gonzalito out the back end. But, uh oh he gets it stolen away by Victorino. And now it's going to be Facundo comes in, takes a shot, and Victorino gets back with that ball. Matt and Victorino, the two stick men right here. Matt holding it up. Now gets back, tries to make the back shot, but Victorino gets away from him. What a play by Victorino. Victorino Ruiz working this ball on end. Victorino in the red zone. Victorino! Oh, yeah, yeah. That is beautiful right there. What a play, what a run, and a goal by the young Ruiz right here. Reaches back behind, drags it forward, and then hammers the next shot up in the air, right down the middle, putting a two-goal lead back on the board, making the score three to one with three minutes left on the clock. La Indiana coming alive in the second shucker. Now they've got Pilot fighting off their back foot. And what do we have? Uh, an Aradura there. Okay, so the umpire's going to go ahead and get rid of that uh, horseshoe on the field. Then we'll come back and get the rest of the game underway here. 2.39 left to go in chucker number two. Three to one the score. La Indiana in the driver's seat, and they have the offensive side of the throw-in. Let's see if they can capitalize right here. Victorino stays on the outside to come with that ball if it comes out the back end. 
But it looks like Jeff Hall's going to light up Gonzalito now. Jeff, yeah. He never really, he never really came back out of there. He never really got back. Watch right here. Jeff is holding out Gonzalito. He's, he's kind of just sideways. He's sitting on top of that right away. He never actually pulls back away and lets Gonzalito go back to the ball. So he gets whistled right there, and we get a penalty from the spot for Pilot. Lucas. James brings the ball back into play. James takes it back over to the right. Now looking for a place to go, trying to find a hole to get to the goal. He's going to whip it over to the left-hand side, trying to find one of his offensive players, but it's picked up here. But, ooh! ay ay ay. Now they're going to be good, though, and it's going to be, uh-oh, Facundo overrides. Jeff Hall comes in, but it's going to be Gonzalito here. Wins that play, hits the back shot. And I tell you what, every time Gonzalo goes to the ball, he's getting swarmed by La Indiana players. Now, let's see, can La Indiana, or can Pilot take advantage of the broken play here? Not, doesn't look like it's going to be Jeff Hall. Wins this one, but puts the ball over the boards and off the playing field. So possession play will be given up. There's our man, Dale. And it's going to be Gonzalito here to take this shot. Now, I believe, is this inside the 60? Okay, so yeah, he's got to go one time with it here. Gonzalito has to hit this ball one time at the goal, which he does right now. And his shot. Oh, yeah. Well done, Gonzalito. That's the way you do it right there. Gonza fires one time, hammers that shot right on down. And sends it straight on through. Okay, so that's Gonza's first goal of the day. Now, ball's back in. Let's see who's going to get there. It's going to be Coppola with Hall. Hall trying to push Coppola over the ball. Now, Coppola... Has control. He hits an easy pass down the right-hand side where he's going to find Gonzalito already on the fly. Gonzalito has got a head of steam built up. He shoots the next shot, centers this ball back up, but here comes oh, Facundo. Dangerous play right there. Facundo chose to let that ball roll over the back line wide, but, man, you got to be careful because you never know if it hits a divot or something and bounces in. Woo. But he knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. So knock in coming for La Indiana. To start off chucker number three, that is, because we run out of time. The ball is out of play when the warning horn sounds. So we'll be back to start the last chucker of the first half with a knock-in to be taken by La Indiana. Once again, after this quick commercial break on the USPA Polo Network. Okay. Back again, back again. Getting ready to start the last chucker of the first half. And man, what a chucker that was for Michael Bickford in particular there. Bickford coming alive. Two goal player. Made a nine goal play to score his first goal of the day. Or his second goal, I mean. So, Gonzalito down there, getting a game plan together. Matt Capola. Lucas James. I tell you what, I love the, the, the type of horses Matt has. He's got those little short, really handy, handy horses. 
he can get a lot done on him. He's a stick man, so it definitely works out. He's got some of the, he's got probably one of the best eyes in the game. And I tell you, I'm impressed with Lucas James. This guy's a polo player now. He's very good at his, at, his, at, at, at that back position. Knows where to be, knows when to come, throw, come through, knows when not to. And seems like he's playing very well here with, uh, with his teammates. So both teams coming back out. Remember, we're going to start this chucker off with a knock-in by by Indiana, I think, to start off the third chucker of play. Let's see. Well, either way, it's going to be a knock-in. Find out who will be taking that knock-in here momentarily. But I'm pretty sure it was uh, La Indiana, yeah. Yes, it is. So La Indiana is going to get, uh, they're going to bring the ball into play to start this third chucker off. Now, here we go. Jeff Hall brings the ball back into play. Jeff hits that ball back over to the right-hand side where he's going to find Victorino already on the fly. Now Victorino hits the ball back towards the middle trying to get it up to Jeff. Jeff isn't able to get there though. Now another back shot here and it looks like Jeff is going to get to that ball with Matt Capola. Victorino tried to get it picked up but, Matt, uh, but Jeff gets the ball turned back around. Whoops. Yeah, and I think, I think you're going to get a whistle here because Jeff doesn't put this ball anywhere. It's just uh, Gonzalito comes in and challenges him there but Okay. Winslow is the name of uh, this horse that, that uh, Jeff is on right here. Winslow. Hall coming back around to take this penalty. Number five. Jeff, one time, hits that ball with authority to the left-hand side of the field where he's got Victorino by himself. Oh, yeah, Victorino on the fly, out of the air, picks up the ball. Can he make it happen? Victorino! Oh, yes, of course he can. This kid is hot. What a run. What a goal doubling up pilot on the board with this one. This is power polo all day. Jeff is looking for Victorino. Victorino, after picking up that first shot, Lucas can't do a thing about it. And Victorino puts the point on the board to pick up his second goal of the day. Okay, so back to the center we go once again. And now, La Indiana with the offensive side of the throw, and Victorino stays to the outside. The ball bounces over to the south, and it's going to be picked up by Matt Capola. Matt, though, can't keep it going. Jeff Hall gets the back shot. Stolen back away here by Gonzalito. Gonz is going to get back to it. He picks up that ball and takes off down the, the, uh, the field. He takes his cut shot back at the goal, and that's another power polo play made by Gonzalito. Ten goals all day long. I don't know why you don't see more players make this exact play. He gets out. He's got no legs between him and the goal. He's within 70, 80 yards, even closer than that, and he just shoots one time, fires it straight on through, puts the point on the board. No fuss, no muss, just points on the board. So that's going to be Gonzalito's second goal of the day. Ball's put back into play, and Pilot is going to have the offensive side. No, not yet. Umpire says, come on, guys, get on your side of the dotted lines. They're not there for decoration. Gonzalito gets, takes advantage of that offensive side of the throw and gets on a run right here. He's out in front. He just scored in the south and going to try to do it again here on the north. Can he be stopped? I don't think so. But, oh, man, that almost went in, too. I might have jinxed him a little bit there, too. So La Indiana dodges a very lucky break. Or they catch a very lucky break, I should say. Hall brings the ball back into play once again. Now he's got Coppola waiting on him. Coppola's job is to make Jeff hit away here. He, what he does not want to have is Jeff run with the ball. Now Jeff hammers the next shot back over to Victorino. Look at that ah, amazing hand-eye coordination this kid has. Now James trying to get there, but Victorino just takes out the man, leaves the ball behind for, Kurt, or for uh, Bickford. Bickford can't keep it going, though, and here comes Matt Coppola. Matt 
Gets back to that ball. He takes it back to the inside of Hall. Hammers it back towards his end of the field. He's got Gonzalito coming in hot to pick this one up. Gonza coming down the right-hand side, working from right to left. He's got one player to beat. Gonzalito shuts her down right here as Facundo comes in and puts some pressure on him. Gonza shot at the goal. Oh, that looked pretty good. But it goes over the back line wide. So another knock-in here for La Indiana. Man, this is their ninth knock-in of the day. Jeff Hall brings the ball back into play. Hall, shovel pass to the right-hand side for once again Victorino. Coming in, though, it's going to be James here. Lucas James gets to the ball. Lucas shuts down, lets the ball come off the boards. Then he's going to go ahead and turn it back underneath his horse's neck. Now looking for a place to go here. He's locked up there with Bickford, keeping his eye on the ball, using that situational awareness, using his peripherals. Keeps it away, and now can he get back to it again? Yes, he does. He wins this one. Keeps it moving back around. Bickford wants a whistle there. He's not going to find it there on that one, though. Now Bickford out in front, avoids the hook from Lucas, and he's off to the race as we go. Old-fashioned horse race happening. Bickford only has to outrun that defender by 52 inches. Looks like he's going to get it done. You let him go. You're going to pay for it right here. I think Lucas James just learned a lesson right there. Don't let Bickford go or else. Woo, I tell you what. Not, uh, yeah, not a lesson I'd want to learn. I'd, I'd be pretty hot right now if I was going to Lito. Because he could have got there. And, Jay, you, you know, Bickford is, is a good player. You cannot let that guy go or else he will just eat you alive all day long. So, Michael Bickford picks up his third goal of the day. Now, three against three. The ball's put in, knocked down, picked up by Jeff Hall. Hall keeps it away from Lucas James and gets on a run. Looking to put another one on the board, trying to double up. Pilot on the board before the end of the chucker here. They still have two and a half minutes left. Victorino in the red zone. Victorino gets her done right there. And now with that goal, doubles up. Pilot on the board, making the score six to three. For the second time today, they double up. Pilot on the board. Victorino gets her done. That's going to be his third goal of the day. So he is tied with Michael Bickford for high score here so far today. They both have three goals apiece. And I tell you, I love to watch Jeff. He is constantly searching for Victorino, trying to get him the ball. Now Jeff Hall going to come out of this throw and with the ball. He's got Vic Bickford already on the fly. Uh-oh. Matt. Did he get hit? He must have got hit. No, I don't know what happened to him. Oh, you know what it was? It, it was uh, 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 Jeff Hall broke his mallet, and it's his mallet that went up and hit uh, hit Coppola, not the ball. Wow, you don't see that happen very often. Crazy. So they're going to give Coppola a chance to shake it off here. And then I believe we're just going to have a throw in. Or, yeah, because uh, there's no malice or foul on the play. But I tell you what, I know what it's like. You, you catch a, a mallet or a ball or whatever in the, right in the kidney or in the posterior. It doesn't feel good, that's for sure. But Coppola's double tough. He didn't, he's not stepping off his horse. He's going to keep on playing. Just got to give him a second to shake it off, let the feeling come back, and he'll be, re he'll be good to go. Okay. Umpire puts the ball back into play. It's going to be Lionel with the offensive side, but Gonzalito wins this throw in. Now Gonza trying to get uh, Victorino out of his way. He's got Lucas James behind him. He's going to go ahead and fire this one back down, looking for Coppola. Matt gets there. He checks up, takes it behind that defender. Matt looking for a hole to get to the goal. Jeff Hall comes in to challenge Matt Coppola, keeps it away from two of them. Well done, Matt reaching back behind. Victorino lights him up. He leaves the ball now for Gonzalito, and Lucas shoots, but he, oh, you cannot hit the horses here. Now Lucas going to turn it back to the right. And victory. Ooh, yep. Somebody's going to be wrong here. Yeah. The worst thing that you can do playing polo here is, is hit a horse with that ball because it's absolutely, there's no way to predict where the ball's going to come off the horse. So 
you see the higher the level of the game, the higher the level of polo, well, on average, I should say, the higher the level of polo, the less horses you see get hit. The lower down, you know, because the, uh, obviously they, the better players have, have better sense of, uh, you know, ball control and where they're going to put it. Which is another reason why, you know, like we were talking about uh, on Sunday, you know, there's a very fine line between a, a high goal play and a foul because the higher the level of polo that you go, uh-oh, we got a horse change time out here for Victorino. The higher the level of polo that you go, the, uh, the, the close, the smaller the distances go, the tighter the gaps are, you know, between fouls and, and, uh, and good plays. Oh, yeah. So Victorino. Now it's going to be, Gonzalito's going to tee this ball up, get ready to go here, trying to get one more on the board. With a minute and 15 seconds left on the clock. So we're going to go ahead and let uh, Victorino get a fresh horse here. And then we'll get the game back underway. Gonzalito looking for a good tee since he's got time. And if you watch the USP Polo Network at all, you know, you, this is one of those times when, you know, I, I always say that my dad's word of advice here is uh, when you're standing around waiting for somebody to get a fresh horse or there's a break in the game, whatever, you're waiting around for the umpires to make a call, this is the time you turn your horse's nose into the wind, help them help get more lungs into their, get more air into their lungs, and then uh, that's going to oxygenate the blood quicker. And in a game where it comes down to seconds, not even seconds, tenths of a second between winning a play and losing a play, the player whose horse has got more oxygen in the blood is going to be a little bit quicker so give your horse every chance you can. To make it uh, to recover and. Um, yeah, you'll see it. Def it definitely makes a difference. One minute, 16 seconds. Here we go. Umpire calls play. Gonzalito. Winds up. F oh, man. That one comes off the heel of his mallet and goes way over to the left of the goal. Luke is going to keep it in play. Yes, he does. James, wow, right on the back line. Turns it back around to the right. Trying to get away from Hall as he's going to be lit up by Victorino. Gets, keeps it away from Victorino. Now checks down and again keeps it away. Now that there's a back shot. Coming back to the ball. Here goes Gonzalito. Gonza going to go ahead and turn this ball underneath his horse's neck. Now he waits for Bickford to commit. And, yeah, I thought you'd get a, a whistle there. Right. Watch right here. Ready? Right there. When he took a swing, I'm pretty sure that's when you got the, the whistle. Because Gonzalito was waiting for him to clear. So it's a goal shot penalty now. Are they going to make it a three or a two or what are they going to do here? Or a four. Making it a four here. So because of where the ball was on the field. I'm surprised. Huh. So it must have been outside the 60, I guess, is where they, uh, you know, because, well, nevertheless. Penalty number four is the ruling on the field going in favor of Pilot. Lucas James. Rides up along the ground, and Matt Capola keeps it in play. Matt turns that ball back around. Now Matt looking to get through the pack. He flips it over for Gonzalito to get in there. Gonzalito shot back along the back line, and it's picked off by Facundo. Obregon, Obregon fires back down, looking for Victorino. Coming in for the defense is going to be James. James gets the back shot off, sends it back around where Gonzalito picks it back up. 
Now, Gonzalito gets that ball turned back all the way around before Facundo can get established on that right away. Gonzalito out of the air, awesome style. Gonza keeping it alive, coming in hot, takes the near side, next shot. Wow, what a goal right there by Gonzalito getting it done, ending the chucker on the highest note possible by bringing his team back within two. And look at this, out of the air the whole way through when it needs to happen, Gonza makes it happen. Near side, next shot behind the, the back of the defending player and puts it on through the, bowl, the, the, the point on the board. So we're going to go to a commercial break. We're going to come back and check in with our field side correspondent, Dale Schwetz. Maybe he has an interview for us this time. I'm not sure, though. We'll see, and I'll catch you after the break. club is one of the most welcoming, friendly, but yet competitive polo clubs. We're all here for the love of the sport and the love of the lifestyle. This is the most fun you can have on a horse. We have several different levels. We play minus two to 20 goals. So if you don't have your own horse, we have club horses that you can use. The fields here are incredible. We've got three great grass facilities. And in the fall and the spring, we can play arena. We do a bunch of events during the summer, and our idea behind that is to promote polo, is to again bring polo to the masses. And this past year we hosted the Rocky Mountain Polo Festival. Every single person that I've seen at practice in tournament is just having a great time. It's a great group of people. Everybody and anybody is welcome at the Denver Polo Club. All right, welcome to halftime here, six to four, La Diana. And uh, I talked about it earlier in the game, all this wind out here, over 10 knock-ins taken between the two teams here and 10 goals scored between both of them. And then again, another six penalty fives taken, three for uh, Pilot and another three for La Indiana. And then a missed safety by La Indiana, then a missed three and a missed four by Pilot. So those two goals right there, but again, the wind blowing. It's going to come into play here, a whole second half. But let's talk about some of the good things that happened here. Wow, top 10 plays. Toro Ruiz, second chucker, my man in the orange helmet, comes down the near east sideline here. He makes a play where he's running full speed, checks down, makes the hook, takes the ball in behind, man. That's good for a five-goaler. Let me tell you something. This kid's on his way up, showing the ability to make the hook and get the ball, and not that, but finish. You can make all those plays, but if you don't finish, you don't put the frosting on the cake, well, it's not a top 10 play. But right there, Toro. Then on the other side, Matt Coppola, we have a, we saw the ball went out of bounds inside the 60 for Pilot. They brought that ball out to the 60 yard line. You know, Gonzalo, uh, Godly the Pianos hits it one time, and Matt Coppola stabs it out of the air, deflects it into a goal. Another top 10 play, amazing. Four goal player, Matt, playing very well at the number two position. Then Michael Bigford, what a run he has here in the third chucker, breaks loose down the field, and Michael is going to cause a problem for Pilot here if they don't watch out because he's had a few extra opportunities where he didn't bring the ball along. But amazing goal, takes it down the field, it bounces to his near side, no problem, leans back, drags it forward, and then the finish. And some great finishes there in our first half of play. So I think Pilot's got to keep an eye. I remember I told you about the rotation with this lot Indiana team. Michael will play where's the number one, but he'll come in behind Facundo and Toro. And so if he drops in there and they don't rotate and he's loose, He'll pick up some goals. Jeff seems to be hanging back a little bit, being the secretary of defense here for the lot in the end team. On the other side of the coin again, Gadlito Pierres on fire from the field. But I told you about the penalty fives and the knock-ins. A lot of missed goals between both teams. Shot on goals when they're missed, our other team gets a knock-in. And we've had a lot of knock-ins here in the first half. Again, the wind's not going to slow down. I checked the Doppler. They're going to have to deal with it. 
and uh, it's going to come into play here, but a very tight ball game at 6 4. Big goal right at the end of the third chucker. That's a great feeling to put one away inside the 30 seconds, then go to the tent and only be two goals down. Now, I know Toby sitting back saying, Well, I'd rather be the team down by two. That way you always come in hungrier. We'll see if that works out for you, Toby, today, because this wind. Um, any team that gets in our lead, remember, if La Indiana comes out of the tent right here and bangs one or two in, man, then you're looking at a three, four goal lead. And with today's wind, man, it could be difficult. But we'll see if uh, Toby's thoughts always work there. He's been right on a lot of that, Toby. I know you have been. You know, he said the team comes out hungry when they're down by two. Let's check it out. I'm Dale Schwetz. Back to you, Toby. All right, so yes, just like Dale said, he took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say that. I'd rather go into halftime down by a couple than up by a couple because you have a tendency to come out hungry. So let's see if Pilot will uh, not make a liar out of me here today. And I have to apologize to Matt Coppola for uh, not, not, I couldn't see the fact that he, I thought it was kind of a weird deal there when, when uh, Gonzalito hit that shot, that uh, possession play from the 60 there and smoked it through. I thought, man, that was weird. It looked like it was going one way, and I did not see Matt actually deflect that ball out of the air. I just saw it go between the posts. So congratulations to Matt. That's got to be the play of the game. And, man, I'm sorry I didn't pick up on that. So I apologize there to, to Matt Capola and his fans and family taking that glory away from him because that's amazing. Ball's back into play. Now it's going to be Jeff Hall picks up on this first loose ball out of the throw-in, making his run back towards the north end. Here comes that big cut shot. Not what he's looking for, and it's going to be Curtis tries to get there. Now it's a nice back shot here from Lucas James. Back in, it's going to be picked up here by Jeff. Oh, well done. Now here comes Matt. Matt comes in, and he's going to flip that ball back down the boards, trying to get away from the boards, trying to get away from Facundo, but puts the ball off the playing field. So possession will be given up to La Indiana. All right. Shot at the goal. And it looks like it's going to be Gonzalito here to pick up the ball and take it back out of the danger zone. Gonzalito, he's got control of the ball. Trying to find a place to go with it here. He's got some protection from James. He's got nobody to hit to. Everybody's covered up. Everybody's bunched up. Now he's going to make a run back to the left-hand side. Trying to do it himself. Matt Capola decides to come in behind. Trying to get to that next man there. Gonzalito dropping the hammer, making his run on through. Can't keep it going. Matt not in position where he wanted to be there. And it's going to be turned back around. The first one to get there is going to be Curtis Pilot. Curtis, what a nice horse to get turned back around. Here comes Lucas James to help him out. Lucas turns the ball back around, keeps it away from Bickford. Now, Victorino was thinking about taking a shot at him. Couldn't quite get there, though. And now, here goes Facundo. And Gonzalito pushes him through there. And whoa, nicely done. And here comes Hall coming in hot. Cuts that ball back out of there, taking it back down the other direction. Hall looking to make a run happen right here. Look at this. Facundo's got Gonzalito held out behind Hall. Hall, nothing but green between him and the goal. He's taking it straight to the hoop, looking good out in front. Can they catch him? Coppola comes in. Can't get there. Oh, my goodness. Now here comes. Oh, what a shot. But Gonzalito is there. Looks around to see who's, who's around him here. And now he's got... Uh, Lucas James going for the pass well over to the left-hand side. Lucas going to shut down here as Victorino comes back in to put some pressure on him. Lucas one times it back down the field, trying to get it up to Curtis Pilot. Pilot in the number one position. Oh, nasty bounce. Now picked back up by Victorino. Victorino going to come in here and turn that ball, and Matt looks to pick up the turn call. Doesn't find it, though, and Victorino takes the ball out of the air on the bounce. And, oh, what a play. What a shot right there from Facundo setting up Victorino. Power Polo. Oh, he couldn't make it work, though. And now Gonzalo's going to get back to it. Now it's going to be picked back up here. Excuse me, Lucas got to it first, and then Gonzalito picks it back up and shoots it back down to Capola. Matt's got a tired horse, though, it looks like here. Matt trying to make it happen. Matt looking for one more. Can he get there? Capola coming in, but it looks like Facundo's just as tired. Now Matt's going to get to it. Open back shot. Ball still on the field. And, man, we've been running and gunning for, minute, for two minutes here. Without a break, both teams have got to have some tired horses. 
Here's Jeff Hall slowing the action down, letting his horse catch his breath. And now it's going to be picked up by Bickford. Michael Bickford taking that ball. Can't keep it alive. And Gonzalito's going to get there. Gonza hits the tail shot. Picked off by Victorino. Victorino trying to keep it alive here. Victorino out of the air on the bounce once again. Victorino's got one more guy to get through. That's Lucas James. Now Victorino trying to get into position here where he can take a shot at the goal with Gonzalito coming in behind him. Flips it back across. Here comes the shot at the goal right now. Nope, not yet. Now Victorino drags it back to the inside of James. Looking to work it on through. Can he get it done? He's right there. Let's look at the control on this guy. Victorino, oh man, <laughs> very well done there. Victorino, this kid has got a very bright career in front of him. He's only like 11 years old. No, I'm joking. He's not really 11 years old. I don't know. He's, in his, he's, he's not 20, though. I know that. He's an amazing polo player, though, and that's for sure. He shows it off right there. Picking up another point, making the score now 7-4. to four. And that's going to be Victorino's fourth goal of the day. Whoo, man, what a run and gun and chucker that was. Or that first half of that chucker, I should say. And what's going on here? Okay, so everybody, here's Jeff Hall holding that ball. Now Matt gets out of his way. Hall takes a shot at the goal, and it's going to be James here. James going to let that ball roll over the back line wide. Interesting play there. They dropped the ball. I'm not sure if everybody, if the entire other team was off sides or something or what the, what the play was there, but. Here we go. Knock in coming for Pilot. All right. Lucas James brings the ball into play. Takes it over to the left-hand side to pick up some extra field to work with here. Keeps it to himself as he's got Bickford right there on him. Now he works it back to the right. Now back to the left again. Now he's going to get on a bit of a run here. And Matt comes in, takes out Bickford from behind. And it's going to be Gonzalito out in front on a break right here. Gonzalito's trying to get to that ball. He checks down as Jeff Hall comes in to light him up. Jeff gets there. And the back shot, and we get a whistle on the play, I do believe. I think it might be from, I don't think Jeff ever makes contact here with, with Gonzalito. I'm not sure. We'll see. Is Jeff saying it's on me? I think that's, uh, well, we're going to find out. We'll see how these teams line up to see for whom the penalty will go. So it does appear that it's going to be a foul against La Indiana here. Lucas brings the ball back into play. Now, Bickford comes back over, and James finds some running room back to the right-hand side. Now he's going to wind up, tries to hit that ball past. Oh, man, nice bump right here. Trying to keep it alive. Takes another swipe at it, and now here comes Hall. Hall, oh, man, overrides. Here comes Victorino. It's going to be Matt Capola to reach back and pick the ball up. Matt looking to put it on through. Matt, he swarmed here. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Bit of an unforced error here. Matt, right there, and, and yeah. So I think you're going to have a, a penalty two here from the spot, reaching, going against Facundo Obregón. This is going to give Gonzalito a chance to bring his team. Back within two. Gonza puts the ball between the posts, picking up his third goal of the day because I took that one away that, uh, Matt that, that Matt scored. Gave it to him. And back to the center we go once again. Remember, we changed directions after halftime that they throw the ball in. So we started off throwing the ball in from the east to the west. So for the remainder of the game, it'll be thrown in from the 
uh, west to the east. So that means the pilot's going to have the offensive side of the throw in here after scoring that goal down there. Now, Gonzalito's going to take advantage of having the offensive side. He wins the throw in here. Now winds up and shoots the ball back towards that south end. And look at this. James has got to step on his man. James in the red zone, out in front, avoids the hook. And just like that, a whole new ball game. We now have a one goal difference on the board. 7-6 the score on a power polo play made by Pilot here. Well done. Lucas has Facundo beat the whole way through. Facundo couldn't do anything except for try to get over and make a hook on James. James wasn't going to let that happen, though. So Lucas James picks up his first goal of the day. All right, we have three, four against three. And umpire puts the ball in. Bickford knocks it down in the front end. Gonzalito trying to get, or excuse me, Jeff's trying to get there, but it's dug out from underneath Hall's horse by Matt Capola. He fires it back down there for James, who just scored on the, on the north, uh, south end. Going to try to do it again here on the south. Can't keep it alive. And a back shot from Bickford. Well done, Michael Bickford. Man, what a shot. Coming in is going to be Hall here. Takes the ball over to the boards. Checks down as the ball comes off the boards and keeps it alive. Now, ooh. Aye, aye, aye. Now, Victorino gets it going. He hammers the, sh the shot back down there looking for Facundo. Coming in, though, is going to be Lucas James here. Doesn't choose to make a play on the ball. Gonzalito trying to make it happen. Here goes Bickford. Bickford in the red zone. Michael Bickford, but it's taken out of there. Oh, man, nice try from Victorino. The ball actually got hit by the umpire's horse. Stopped right there, and Victorino somehow reached all the way out and got a near side tail shot off. But that's going to end the chucker. So we're going to start the fifth chucker off with a knock-in to be taken by Pilot after one more quick commercial break here on the USPA Polo Network. When you're playing at the highest levels, you're playing against the best players in the world, and, and you see where you stack up. Playing in high goal polo, there's a lot of pressure from your sponsor, the team. You know, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do well, just to, to keep going in the sport and to keep getting better. But it's a good pressure. It's a fun pressure. You know, it's, it's the pressure that we all kind of live for. We're part of an amazing situation here. The U.S. Polo Association, the Double Horsemen, is one of the most highly recognized brands in the world. Of the 38 brands worldwide, U.S. Polo Association is the only one actually associated with the sport of polo. And that's what funds programs like Team USPA to help young players like myself come up in the sport and grow our sport. Welcome back once again to the USPA Polo Network. We're getting ready to start the fabulous fifth chucker. And check out um, 
Check out that. Yeah, we saw that video here. Well, here we go. We're playing some polo right now. Gon <coughs> excuse me. Gonzalito picks up the ball on the breakaway here. Man, he is cooking down the field. Victorino trying to get to him. Gonza on the bounce. Takes it too far. Goes for the tail shot. Oh, yeah. What a goal. Gonzalito, 10-goal status all day long. What a run. What a play. Que jugador. What a goal. Look at this. Takes it past and then knows exactly where that goal is. Smokes the tail shot and drains it right there. Wow, that was incredible. Tying this ball game up, seven goals apiece. And now, Pilot trying really hard not to make a liar out of me. On the whole, rather go down to half time, go into halftime, down by a couple than up by a couple thing. Now, back to the center. And. Pilot going to have the offensive side of the throw in here. Once again, Gonzalito, he's going to fire this one back to the south end of the field. But coming in to pick up the play, it's going to be Victorino. And taken. Gonzalito almost got there. Now Matt Capola tries to keep it going. He gets the job done. He gets it back to over there, the ball. Gets taken now by Bickford, though. Bickford meets the play. And now it's going to be Facundo Obregón. Obregón can't keep it going. Coming back to the ball now, it's going to be Capola. Matt overrides. And Victorino pumps it back down towards that north end where... It's going to be Hall to pick up the play on the near side. Hall flipping it back to the right-hand side. Now holds the man out, but Victorino gets hooked on the play right there by Coppola. Now Hall takes another shot. This one going, going. Can Matt get there? He has to hit that back shot because it's, it's going to stay on the field otherwise. Now Hall comes back in to meet that play. Matt with the near side back shot. And here goes Curtis Pilot. Let's watch this play again here. Because Jeff has to be dead on that ball. A little, hmm. Yeah, Jeff has to be dead on that, uh, that right away. So he did a great job to come all the way back over and then flatten out on that right away and pick up the, the line there. But I think they're, they're, they're blowing it on Matt for spinning back the other direction and hitting the, the back shot. Penalty two here for La Indiana. This is their first goal shot penalty of the day. All right, and Victorino's going to pick up the point there, and that's going to be his fifth goal of the day. Now, we're going to come back to the center. Be watching out for that... Uh, that awesome horse of Jeff's, Gabiota, he's going to come back on that mare in the next chucker here. Right now, though, he's on Sapphire. Or wait, no, let's see. Sapphire, he played last chucker. Now he's on Gypsy. Now, here goes Facundo. Wins the throw and turns it all the way back around to the left underneath the horse's neck. Bickford's going to take this ball, picking it up himself. Bickford's got some confidence going to goal here today. Coppola comes in, hits the open back shot, looking for Lucas James. Lucas coming in hot to the boards, to the corner. He gets to it, opens that ball up, sends it down the boards, but Victorino's going to change his mind at the last second, and uh-oh, that's going to cost him here because he overrides the ball. As Jeff comes in, tries to take a shot at Gonzalito. Gonza keeps it away from Hall, though. Now Gonzalito out of the air, has to keep it going, tapping it, tapping it, coming in hot. Who gets it back around first? It's going to be Lucas gets there and backs up his teammates, giving the ball back up, trying to get it to Coppola. Matt can't keep going. Here goes Gonzalito. Gonzalito, this guy is 10 goals all day long, if you ask me. He's got control of the ball. Gonzalito fires, doesn't connect the way he wants or actually gets knocked down by the horse, and now it's going to be Coppola back on the ball. Matt going to leave it there for Gonzalito. Gonza picks it up. Gonza takes the hit from Facundo. Man, you can throw a blanket over all eight players. Now, here goes Capola, takes it back to the left. Oh, wow, that's an athlete right there. Well done, Facundo, for staying on your horse. Or maybe not. That's one of those plays right there where it hurts worse to try to, to stay on the horse than it does if, if you just let yourself go and just fall off. See right there? He's pulling every muscle in his body. At that point, man, you're gone, just go. <laughs> That's what I've learned. That's going to break the tie, take the lead, and make the score now 9-8 to eight in favor of Pilot. And like I said, they're trying really hard not to make a liar out of me today. Matt Capola, thank you very much. And we're going to need an ambulance down here, it looks like, for, uh, for no, maybe not, maybe, maybe just a horse. I'm going to let Facundo give him a second here because, like I said, that, that hurts. When you try to st hang on to the horse and stay on and you're fighting to, st to stay on the horse, you know, oh, I don't want to fall off. Well, 
you might as well just go because you're pretty much already gone anyway. And like I said, it, it hurts less to just let yourself go and fall off than it does to try to cling to the side of the horse and try to claw your way back up on top of him. All right, we're going to go to commercial break here real quick, and we'll be right back to continue this game after this quick uh, commercial break. Popular. All right, Facundo, double tough. He's mounted back up and ready to go to complete this fifth chucker of play. The score now, 9-8, to eight, Pilot in the lead. They uh, were in the lead in the first chucker and have not held the lead uh, since then. Matt Coppola made an incredible play down there to keep it away from Facundo. Facundo actually got up on the handlebars and, and actually ended up losing it there, coming off, because he leaned, he leaned so far out trying to get a hook on Matt, but Matt was able to get away from him. Ball's put into play, bounces to the north, and is going to be taken here by Gonzalito. Gonzalito coming out of the throw-in with the ball. Gonza running the turn to the outside. Now he pumps it past, and man, when he gets a horse running, he knows how to make one run. Coming in, Facundo gets that near side back shot off. First one to get turned back around. Victorino coming in, but it's going to be Victorino picking up the ball. He overrides. Now here comes Capola. Capola turns the ball all the way back around. Matt. Here comes Victorino to take a shot at him. No, he's going to go ahead and send it back on down, looking for Curtis Pilot. But here comes, or excuse me, Bickford. Man, Bickford can hammer that tail shot. He does a great job of that. I don't think he's missed one all game. Victorino goes for the deep neck shot, doesn't connect, and this is going to cost him. This is a broken play. And here goes Lucas James. Wow, well done, Victorino. Lights up Lucas there. Takes it, he makes him miss the shot and then picks the ball back up. And that guy is playing lights out polo today as well. Here comes Matt Capola. Tail shot coming. Not enough on it. Jeff tries to get to it. Wow, James gets the next shot off to keep the play going. He gives it back over to, Je to uh, Gonzalito. Gonza's down in coffin corner. Gonza going to the speed stick. Now he shuts down to Facundo coming in trying to get to him. Facundo turned him there. He's clean. Now it's going to be picked back up here by... Gonzalito, now Facundo, and now it's going to be a back shot for Victorino and another one there from, yep. Michael Bickford is, is, is not happy right here. But look, I mean, it comes off, that's, yeah. Hmm. Penalty four, going in favor of Pilot. Okay. Here we go. Gonzalito. Rides up along the ground. Oh, man. Stabbed out of the air by, by Hall. Well done. Coppola tries to get to it, but it's going to be Bickford once again. Bickford taking it forward on the near side. He's going to be backed up there by Victorino, who keeps the ball in play as James comes to take a shot at him. But Victorino gets out of there with that ball, gives it back to uh, Facundo. Jeff Hall. Now, Victorino Ruiz making the run here, but it looks like Curtis's horse kicks it forward, and that's going to be advantageous for Victorino. Victorino, now here comes Gonzalito. Or excuse me, Lucas James. Lucas hits the tail shot looking for 
and we get a whistle on the play. Let's watch what happens here. All right, so he comes back to the ball, hits it back over to the right, or I mean to the left. Hmm. That's tricky. They're going to say no foul on the play. They went to the third man. No foul declared on the play, so it's going to be a throw-in from the center of the boards. Pilot's got the uh, offensive side, but uh, Line Deanne is going short. Now Gonzalito's going, oh, what a play. Victorino gets the hook on. Gonzalito wins that play, hits the open back shot, trying to get something going. Here comes Matt Capola looking for the whistle. Gets his clock clean, though. Don't go for that whistle. Go to the ball. Now Matt trying to do the same thing back to Jeff Hall. His horse kicks the ball forward, Je and now that's a back shot from Matt. Matt's shot going to be picked off by Lucas James. Lucas with control. He's got Hall coming in trying to get a hook on him. Lucas tries to keep it going here. Back shot from Hall, and Gonzalito's going to get to that ball. He's going to be swarmed here by two light Indiana players. Now, whoop, and now Facundo gets to the ball. Facundo's got control, looking for a place to go, trying to find a way to get around. Gonzo is going to stay with him. Now back shot from Coppola breaks up the play. And here goes Gonzalito on the near side. Takes control. And off to the races we go once again. Gonzalito making his run on the bounce out of the air. Takes it. Keeps it alive. Takes his shot at the goal. Oh, man. What a shot. Gonzalito. That is power polo all day long. I do believe it is. Uh, I can't see. It's 10-8, I believe, because we, uh, we had the last goal scored by Matt Coppola down at the other end when, when, uh, when Facundo got hurt. Gonzalito's going to pick this one up here. Okay, here we go. The ball's back into play. Once again, Gonzalito's going to jump on that loose ball. Gonza hits the next shot back down the field. Coming in is going to be Hall. Hall, open back shot. Gonza is going to get turned back around. Who's going to get to it first? Gonzalito is going to get there. He's going to turn this ball back around. Gonza looking for a place to go. Facundo tries to get away from Matt Capola, but it's good enough to get Gonzalito. Wow, what a shot from Gonza. What an even better play here by Hall. He picks the play off, gets defense turned back into offense. He shoots it back down, and look at this. He's got Victorino already on the fly. Matt Capola is going to get there, though. Capola comes in, decides to take it with him, takes it forward, and that's going to end the chucker right there. So we're going to go to a commercial break, let these players get on some fresh horses, and we'll be back to start chucker number six in just a few minutes. Fort Mock uh, was really you know, built and designed to be a place where, where polo players can come and collaborate and, and join together and share in the sport of polo. Whether you're a horse trainer, a polo professional, want to play competitive polo, or, or just play practices, we offer it all of you. So at Port Mayaka, you have sets going out in the morning, people getting their horses ready for polo, practices four days a week at 10.30 in the morning. You'll also see lots of people riding younger horses, trying to get those seasoned. You'll see people in the afternoons coming up to the pavilion, having lunch, hanging out. You have the most important ingredient, which is the fields. The fields allow you to play a certain way. It opens up the game, and they certainly have incredible fields. When you get out to Port Market, you're just like, Wow, this is beautiful. In South Florida, it's a horse heaven. Welcome back here to the USPA Polo Network. 9-8 is the score. It was actually where I got, I got confused there. I thought that goal Matt scored down on the north end was the tiebreaker. It was actually to tie the game up. Got McGreeny down there coaching La Indiana. Michael Bigford down there. I know he wasn't happy about that last call that they blew against him with, with Gonzalito. Here we go. Playing polo once again, though. Both teams come back out, and the, the, the play ended just a little bit. 
uh, south of midfield there. So we're going to have a throw from the center of the boards. Okay. Waiting for everybody to get lined up, get their final touches put on their horses. All right, yeah, so like I said, throne's going to be from the center of the boards. That means that uh, Pilot is going to be, is going to have the offensive side, but Lion Deanna is going short. Who's going to capitalize right here? It looks like it's going to be Lion Deanna's Facundo Obregón. Facundo takes the ball all the way back around. Victorino holding out Lucas James, not letting him get over there to make a play on Facundo. Now Facundo takes off. He avoids the hook by hitting a neck shot over to Bickford. Bickford tries to keep it going, but it's a back shot there from Gonzalito. And now Victorino, man, this guy is a stickman. Look at this swordsman. He's going, keeps it alive. Now, Victorino coming back to the ball, gets hooked, back shot by Coppola, and it's picked off here by Gonzalito. Gonza, oh, what a play. Gonzalito turns it back to the inside. He faked everybody out, and then he goes to hammer this one. Now, he's going to take it back to the left-hand side, making some more space for himself to run down the field here. Gonzalito winds up and hammers it back towards his offensive uh, player, Matt Coppola. Matt right there with Facundo. Matt now goes ahead, releases the ball back up to... Lucas, James, he doesn't get enough on it. Now it's going to be a back shot here from Facundo looking for Jeff Hall. Jeff coming back to the ball. Jeff's going to let the ball come off the boards. He then goes ahead and smacks it right back down the middle where he's got Victorino on the fly. Wow, Victorino, that's the first time he's missed a ball out of the air all day. And now it's going to be picked back up here by Coppola. Matt fakes the back shot, turns the ball, gets it done quickly, and gets it done quickly enough so that nobody can catch him on that one either because he is quick, this kid. Look at this. Hand-eye coordination. Coppola keeps it alive, but Victorino tries for the back shot, can't do so, and now it's going to be picked up here. Nice horse by Bickford. He gets back around, turns to pick up that play. Michael Bickford comes in. Gonzalito knows better than to let Bickford go. He learned the lesson that uh, Lucas had with Bickford in, that, in, the, uh, in the third chucker there, now picked back up by Gonzalito. Gonza hammers it back down towards his end of the field where he's going to find Matt Coppola waiting for the ball to land. It comes in behind. Gonzalito tries to keep it going here. First one to get turned back around, though, is going to be Curtis Pilot. Pilot shot picked off by Victorino. Victorino turns it back underneath his horse's neck to the left. To the yeah, left. Now he whips that ball back towards his goal, but coming in is going to be Hall to cut it back at the goal. Jeff looking for a shot, and Matt gets there. Matt and Gonzalito, man, what a quick play. Gets in there. Near side back shot from Victorino. He's shooting at the goal. And now Coppola is going to be able to... No, he's not. He's going to have to keep it in play. Matt checks down now as Bickford comes in to challenge him. Matt's going to go ahead and leave the ball there for Gonzalito and run some interference so that Gonzalito can get on a run to the left. Gonzalito bobbing and weaving, ducking and diving, looking for a place to go here. He lets everybody go past him. Now he's got Matt going down the left-hand side, and he's going to hit Coppola on the fly right here. Matt picks it up. Matt working the ball on down, chewing up valuable time. Lucas comes in to back him up. James drags that ball back around as Jeff looking to make a play on Lucas James. Lucas gets away from him. Lucas out in front, forced to tap that ball. Only has that run the defender by 52 inches. He's getting the job done so far. Now, here comes Facundo. Now, nicely done, making the neutral play, but it's going to be a great back shot there from Hall. He hits the tail shot out of the danger zone. Coming in. Uh-oh. I think we might have had a foul away from the ball right here with Victorino and Curtis. Look at this shot. Man, that's a tail shot right there. Yeah, whoa. Got to be careful there. 4.31 left to go. One goal difference on the board. It's truly anybody's game. Sicker dogs in this got well. So we're going to see exactly what the official ruling is here on the field. Maybe we have a horse change timeout. We'll see momentarily. But they're Lion Dan is indicating that they got a whistle here that, that, that it's gonna go in their favor. 
And I think that is what's going on. Yeah, so I think you have a dangerous a dangerous riding call here. And I think this is a great, uh, this is a really, really good, I mean, a, a very well-blown whistle here by the umpires because they got to protect everybody on the field. And that was, that got a little gnarly there. I think uh, Curtis misjudged that, that, that bump, that bump right there a little bit. So here goes Capolo, hits the back shot. Gonzalito tries to pick it off, so does Jeff. He can't get to it either. Now, Bigford hammers it back on down where he's going to find Facundo by himself, but in coffin corner. Now, Facundo digging the ball off the boards. Gonza comes in to put, or Lucas James comes in to put him in, in the pocket. Now, there's a little shot at, he tries to get it going to the goal, but he's going to deflect that one, and Curtis comes in, gets taken out by Hall. Now, Facundo hits the ball over there, and Lucas is going to pick it up on the fly. Lucas James going to get challenged here by, by Facundo. Man, look at this guy go. What a play. Lucas James, and Matt is there to back him up. Coppola cracks it down the field. Now, coming in, it's going to be Facundo with a, a back shot, an open back shot attempt. Now, Jeff Hall picks up the ball. Whoa! Jeff, be careful, buddy. I know it, I know what's going on here, but man. Mm. That's scary. Okay. So this is going to tie this ball game back up. We could be seeing some OT here today. Penalty number three, they're going to let Victorino do the honors on that uh, bald-faced ho horse of his with the Roman nose. I think this one, I think actually Magrini owns this horse. I'm not sure, though. Jeffy, I believe he was on. Does he own Gaviota yet? I don't know if he came out on her yet or not. I wasn't paying attention. He's going to be coming back on, uh, yeah, if he hadn't been out on her yet, he'll come back on her in the second half of the chucker. Here comes Victorino. Ruiz, it's wide, wide, wide. Oh, man, tough luck. I don't know what it is, man, but I tell you, there's something about a penalty three. It's, it's probably the, one of the most difficult shots in the game. Here comes Lucas, brings the ball into play. Takes it over to the left, burning up valuable time, but there's still way too much time for him to try to kill. Now, he's going to keep it moving over here. Gonza takes out the man, and now Lucas James is going to keep it going here. It goes for the shot. It doesn't connect. Back shot. Gonza is going to get around first before anybody else. Gonza Lito, he's going to be pursued here by Bickford. Bickford going to be patient right here as Coppola goes to hold Bickford for a second there so that Gonza Lito can get the shot. Uh-oh. That one gets away from him and goes over the boards and off the playing field. Man, I tell you what, Pilot is l trying real hard to let uh, Lai Indiana back into this polo game, that's for sure. Here goes Jeff. He cuts that ball back down towards the goal. Good looking shot. Here comes Matt Coppola. Matt. Oh my goodness, Matt. Now, Lucas James tries to get there, and we get another whistle on the play. Ay, 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 Matt. Hmm, good, good, good call there. Good read by Facundo. He knew where to be. So we're going to get a penalty two now in favor of La Indiana, giving them this chance. This is the chance that I swear Pilot's been trying to let him back into the polo game here for the for the most of the sixth chucker. And now they're going to get a penalty two. And Victorino doesn't want to take it. He's going to let uh, Facundo take it. Obregón, no trouble putting the ball between the posts, tying us up and guaranteeing a tendonitis on the board one way or another here today. Okay. Facundo. That's his first goal of the day. Back to the center we go. Now we're going to pilot on the offensive side, but the momentum on 
Lion Deanna side. Ball's put into play. It's going to bounce and be picked up here by Facundo. He hits the back shot, looking to get it to Victorino. Victorino coming in. He's going to check up, take it back to the inside. Victorino slaps it back down, comes off the heel of his mallet, and Gonzalito's going to get there. Coming in, Jeff Hall tries to get to him. Gonzalito goes with the, goes for a neck shot there. And now it's a back shot here from Matt Capola. Matt, it comes off of the white player's horse. I thought, maybe not. Maybe it came off of a uh, pilot horse. So they move it back to the 60. So this is a one shot. They have to take it one time here, I think. Yeah. Jeff goes ahead and he shoots that ball back on down. And Gonzalito is going to take advantage of the play here. But looks like we're going to get an off-speed bump. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Pilot. My goodness. Things have come from together apart for this team. Another penalty, too, for La Indiana. With 36 seconds left on the clock in regulation time here, if they make this penalty. If they don't make this penalty, we're going to play out that whole one, one minute, six seconds. One oh six nine to nine. Nuevi to Nuevi. <laughs> Obergon, when the game's on the line, winners want the ball. Oh my goodness, he got it. Just barely, but he got it. Tendonitis on the board, thirty seconds left to go before the end of this game. Do they I don't know if they have enough time. This is God, the rule, the rule, the rule. Okay, we come back now with 15 seconds to run the ball down and put a point on the board. They got to get it done right now. Gonzalito might get it done. Here goes Matt Capola. He fires. Seven seconds. They have to shoot. Gonzalito's got to go for it right here. This ball going, going, going. Oh, man. Oh, shoes. Ouch. What a game. What a win. I hope Lucas got hit in the face there on that back shot, though. I hope he's all right. My goodness. All right. Well, anyway, congratulations to La Indiana. I tell you what, Pilot, wow, what, an, what a try there. I, they almost had it. They, I mean, if they had a couple more seconds, they could have got it done. Very smart play there by Gonzalito. Gonzalito's the one that got hit there. Sorry, not Lucas. It was Gonzalito that got hit. And, um, but, man, he almost got the play done. With, if he had another two seconds, maybe it could have been game. Either way, let's go to our field site correspondent, check in with Dale Schwetz, and I'll see you after we speak with Dale. Everyone will agree with me. Probably one of the best pole games of the season, 2018 semifinal, the way one should be played. Pace, fast pace, everybody running and gunning. The fourth chucker, I'm going to lay it down right now, was the fastest chucker, cleanest, wide open running chucker we've had here at the International Polo Club Palm Beach all season long. Hallelujah. Love to see that kind of polo. And the stage is set for the Colors Crescita as we have Coke going up against La Indiana. Now, off both semifinals, the Coke semifinal against Prestige was very, was, it was methodical moving. But the pace of La Indiana today, if they keep that pace, Coke's going to have to dig deep and really get going. They got the horsepower, Jimmy Johnson, Nacho's doing a great job filling in, and of course, Sugar, and uh, they, they, they do a great job running and gunning with the thing, with the ball, Kruger is ready to go, but that's gonna be an awesome final. So, La Indiana, congratulations, Pilot almost got it done, but Coke against Pilot in the finals. I'm Dale Schwetz. Let's go back to our final words of the day, and Toby Wayman. Thanks, Dale. Yes, sir. That was an amazing game. That really was a fun, fun game to watch. And like I said, you know, Pilot, they, it was their game to lose there in the end. I mean, they, they made a great effort af after halftime. They got up. They held their lead until the last two, three minutes, and then things just came from together apart for them. You hate to see that happen, but at the same time, that's the way it goes. And uh, 
So congratulations to La Indiana. They're going to be, like Dale said, they're going to be going up against Coca-Cola in the finals on Saturday. Um, be sure to tune back in with us, though. Tomorrow at noon, we're going to have uh, the semifinals of the Gold Cup, the second leg of the American Triple Crown. So first semifinal will be at noon, uh, Valiente playing against Tonkawa. And then our second semifinal will be at, oh, excuse me, wait, I take that back. Tomorrow is going to be 10 a.m. is our first semifinal. Uh, Flex Jet versus Daily Racing Form. And then at noon, we're going to have uh, the second semifinal, actually first semifinal, will be Valiente against Tonkawa. My name is Toby Wayman. I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to the USP Apollo Network, and we'll catch you at our next broadcast.